This is the layout of the new Mesh Molder Professional 2021. New Start Mesh with the ability to insert and delete up to 20 meshes of your choice. I'm going to upload a model made by my friend Rodrigo RPR, just a portion of the final work sculpted on the mesh molder. In this tutorial we will discover how to design a complex model, high poly, on a low poly model, to facilitate rendering, animation and using games. After loading the file, we click with the right mouse button and select duplicate to make a copy of the mesh. The mesh created will be white and this is where we will work. An important detail for successful capture is not to change the location of the meshes. After that, we will select all uniform with a value of 8 for the mesh to be much less dense. Ok, after all uniform, we can see a smoother and more uniform mesh to capture UVs. To do this click on the textures button and select automatic to automatically capture the texture map. This process should take some time and at the end the mesh will have the UVs map ready on the low poly mesh. The next step is very simple, we select project texture and we select the low poly mesh that we just captured the texture and then the high poly mesh. In this example I have already defined the save directory, which in my case is on the desktop. I selected normal and color maps as they will be used in the rendering of Keyshot in this tutorial. Mesh Molder focused this version entirely on the possibility of creating characters for animations and this is just one of the changes in this new version. Now, let's save the map mesh and then load it into Keyshot. In Keyshot, we load the mesh, assign skin material and change the color map and the bump map, in addition to mesh adjustments to have the expected result. First thing we will do in the Keyshot is to put our mesh on the plane, for that enter the scene tab and select snap to ground. We will assign the skin material to mesh before changing the color map and bump mapping in the key shot. In the Material tab, change from Box Map to UV Coordinates and in addition, put 0 on the Shift X and Shift Y bars. Do the same thing with Normal Mapping. Now don't forget yet on the Material tab to deselect Normal Mapping and select Sync so the mesh is 100% ready to render. An interesting detail is that objects in the .obj format with C brush colors can be loaded without problem in Mesh Molder. 